Good morning, Makandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and it's build day 257. Yes, I'm build day 257 on a construction schedule out at Villa Feliz. Today it's like, I think, doesn't look, doesn't look very good, and it looks like those kind of clouds that are going to be around all day long. But again, you never know around here, I always say that. Uh, I hope we don't have rain uh, because we're doing a lot of the outside finishing and we need to get as much of that done as, as, as possible right now because we are in the finishing mode uh, to try to complete this project. So uh, CCTV guys, yesterday, remember they came in, uh, installed seven of the eight cameras. I added one extra camera for a vulnerability position on the house. Uh, but that won't be installed until Monday, so we'll do a follow-up with them on Monday. Hmm, let's see what else. That, that's, that's pretty much it. Today's going to be tiling and painting and finishing. Oh, and some carpentry work. Some carpentry work with regard to doors. Uh, I believe uh, maybe some cabinet work, cabinet work as well. Uh, well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Good morning. Good, good, good. good morning. What you got there? Oh. <laughs> What's that? I am early. No, I am normal. This... Oh, I, I will pick some. I'm, I will pick some up and get you guys. I. I... <laughs> All right, guys. Good morning. But one shot. One shot here. Hold, hold my camera. Right. Right. That was a miracle shot. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me see you. You do it. You do it once. All right. You do it. Good. Hey, right. right, guys. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Morning, Pop. Morning, Pop. Morning. Morning, Roy. Oh, it's early. No, it's not too early. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> no, I, 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 maybe, maybe a little late. I gotta get some eggs. Save me some eggs for tonight. What are you, Lana? Good morning. Good morning. You got a haircut. <laughs> you got a haircut. <laughs> oh, you're so foggy. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> morning, cow number one. Cow number two. Well, it is eight o'clock. Work should commence now, and we have a light drizzle going on here. Not enough to really deter any, uh, even the painting on the outside, because uh, if you're on the scaffolding, as you can see, one of our workers is going up there. That will cover, and because the wind is blowing this way, 
and it will give a little bit of protection right there for doing whatever work needs to be done there. So let's go ahead and walk through the house. I, I'm going to do some networking stuff. I got to I got to find the pair, uh, the Cat 6 cable that goes from where the monitor connects to the patch panel on the inside and I need to do a termination. I actually need to hook up a patch panel. I need to order a second patch panel. I didn't think about that for the uh, POE uh, mm, switch, uh, the POE switch because all the cables come into the wall. I'd like to terminate them nice and clean and then run patches from the patch panel up to the POE switch. I didn't think ahead of time and I, I should know that because I, I design these kind of networks. I will probably do an order in, uh, on Lazada uh, the same order for the same one that I have on the other side and it's usually they're very quick about that it, it, it takes a couple of days for it to come in so uh, let's kind of walk through the house real quick so my electrician is here and originally we were supposed to have four service outlets over here uh, uh, two individual one two and then another another two outlets right here because we have one device uh, it was one device uh, which is the NVR we have the POE switch it was going to be a secondary switch for the network over here and I can't remember if there was another device that we're supposed to have inside here as well but now we have the ups over here but the ups will take take two of the switches which is going to be for the NVR and for the POE in the event that we lose power we have a brownout or anything that terminates the power here we still have security going inside the background and, and uh, doing the recording so we can do that uh, but I'm gonna have to take this and it's gonna have to sit down without a fan inside here we can set that on the bookshelf down on the bottom I'm not really worried about it being visible because it's it's gonna be the device that generates this generates no heat I can fit there's nothing here the switch very very minimal heat, just like my neck gear switch that I use for some high temperature environment environments it, it, it generates very little heat but the ups, you can feel, it generates heat, so we're going to put it external. So what we're going to do, because there needs to be a light inside of here, we're going to leave this one inside here, and there's going to be a switch for a light in here that will, if I need to see inside here, I'll put it on, and the cabinet itself will have some light, so I can do any work inside there, as well as we'll have one more service outlet. So that will give us all of the electrical connection uh, that we need inside this cabinet right here. It's, it's amazing how many days it takes to do these cabinets inside here, but I will tell you that the cabinets are done extremely professional. It's not anything that's thrown together, and I guess you have to accept the fact that uh, quality takes time. So uh, I don't know what day we are on this one right here, because remember our, our carpenter worked on it several days, if not like a week, uh, building it. And this is our finishing guy here, and he's doing everything to do the finishing for the cabinet. And you saw how long it took for the one upstairs in the breakfast nook inside the master bedroom. It took, I, 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 I'm gonna say, it's a couple of weeks between the building and the finishing. Uh, and this is still not finished, remember? We still don't have the wood grain finished on that one yet. Well, I don't know if I showed you the other day. Remember when we had to select the drop down that's going underneath the base and we were going either between this kind of tile or this tile here, which is this tile here. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. It still has, doesn't have the grouting in it yet, but this is what you're gonna see when you see the step down from the great room into the sunroom. I like that finish much better than using this for this base tile, this, this rise right here. Uh, I think I, I, I think that is the best option that we could have selected here. Yeah, I don't know what the best thing is for that. So we have a, we have a little bit of a problem when they pre um, roughed in for the, the optional aircon split unit for for this room inside here. That's the power over there. They ran it too uh, too high, and it interferes with the molding with the Cornish inside there. Uh, so we have, to, we have to make a decision. Do we want to cut the Cornish and fit the, and fit the uh, outlet inside there, or do we want to cut out the, the, where the box goes in and drop it down? The best looks would be to drop it down. Um, we have to, we'll, we'll make a decision here in a minute. The, the only real way to do that is they're going to have to cut the box, they're going to have the electrical box to drop it down, because if you cut into the Cornish, it's going to look horrible, so we're going to do it right.
So my job for today is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start hooking up that patch panel that I bought. I can't wait for them to do the finishing in the back. It, it, it will just be made where we can remove it and they can finish behind it. We'll cover it up so it doesn't get uh, stain and paint all over it when they're doing their finishing. But I need to do it because I need to start doing some patching to test some of the, the entire network inside here. So that's what I'm going to be working on for a little bit this morning. And then if I see anything uh, that we need to pay attention to for details or anything like that on the building, we'll focus on that and I'll stop with this for a little bit. You know what Okay, let me explain to you what I just coordinated with the precast guys, and it's for the lighting, for the lighting that goes on the left side and the right side over there of the garage. And what we're going to do, you see how this molding goes around, but it drops. It's a detailed molding. It's like a chair rail on the outside. This is this big grand molding that we have here. But when we mount the light here, the bottom of the light is going to overhang with a gap behind it. So I did the measurement so they're equal on both sides from the molding on the side of the garage door itself. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a build up. And the buildup is just going to take this same level and it's going to come out, the detail is going to come out in a square right here. So when we put the light, when we mount the light on here, the, the base of the light will go all, all the way around here with no gap behind it. And uh, they're going to do it on both sides. We just did the correct dimensions so everything's centered and equal to the outside of the framing of the garage. And uh, that will get, I bet you that will get done today. Well, what I've been working on this morning, of course, is the network. I'm doing the patch panel. So I got the top half, I have eight, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I have six of the, uh, the connections done for the patch panel, and I've tested all of them. All of the Panasonic Keystones that were made by many, they ran out of stock. All the Panasonic that do punch through, just like this, you use this, uh, this little punch tool right here, and you punch everything in, and it seats it properly, it embeds it inside your, uh, your Keystone properly. Everyone I did with that is I got 100% connectivity, but I bought this cheap, some of these cheap keystones we ran out of the Panasonic and Wilcon sell these, uh, I don't remember the name brand of it, but it's like Omni, I think it's Omni, and every single one of them failed, so uh, I am going to, uh, I'm going to try to find, we, we originally scored the, the uh, keystones, Panasonic keystones, keystones from the killing, uh, but they ran out. But there are several McQuillans on the way. There's two on the way going down to Batanga City. One in Batanga City and one like in Missouri. So I will stop at one of those or both of those if I have to and see if they have any more of those in stock. All right, well, it's a little bit after lunch right now. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all the great comments from yesterday's video. That was when the CCTV people came and we're doing the installation. As you know, or as you might not know, uh, I re asked them, I got in contact with them again, and I asked them to bring one more camera out. So they're going to be out on Monday installing one more camera. I saw a sort of a blind spot that I wanted an area taken care of, and uh, they're going to come out and add uh, the additional camera and, and hook it up to the system. I also want to say I apologize again for it. I didn't put the description of the, the information for them in the description block. So if you look now, if you do go back to yesterday's video and uh, you look in the description block beneath the description of what the day is going to uh, be about, there is all the information for the CCTV installers. And, and if you need a good, capable, uh, responsible team to come in and do it, these guys are the guys to call. I've gone through several different of the vendors around here, but most of them want to do a lot of the analog, the old equipment, the, the, the updated and new stuff. These folks are right on top of it all. So anyway, again, I put the new information there inside the description block and it gives the name of the proprietor. It gives his phone number, his email, and the address of their business. So if you're interested in having a good quality CCTV installed in your uh, house, apartment, or wherever you live, uh, the information is there for you if you're interested.
So as you can see, we have seven doors, the one that we're working on right now, and this. I thought we only needed six, but I forgot we need one for this door right here. I was thinking it was a door, a different door that my builder was going to put inside there, but they're all going to be the same. So that's good. So they all look the same. So we have seven doors. We took the delivery today from McKilling. That's why we have the door hardware upstairs that I just showed you and the other seven doors uh, that are going to be installed in the basement and the first floor. Well, anyway, I just want, I want to pass on. There's something weird going on with uh, on YouTube. On YouTube, uh, the, the, there's something with the comments, and, and it's mainly in the comments. A lot of the viewers, or several of the viewers, mentioned to me that they, they don't see any comments. There's like one or two, and it says it should be hundreds or whatever we normally have on a day-to-day -day basis. And I also notice when I go and I look, because it'll show, I have a, it'll be a spam folder, and there will be, uh, there'll be a couple things that filter out if there's any bad words or language like that. And it says there are several inside there, but when I go to it, it's showing zero. So there's something weird going on on YouTube. Uh, be patient. They always end up fixing whatever problem they have on there. And uh, everything should be better later. Hey, you know what time of day it is. It's shout out time of day. And we just have a couple of shout outs here. I believe we have a couple of shout outs. One or two. It's not very many today. And it's a birthday shout out. And the birthday shout out go comes from Ellen Bernard Bay. And I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure. I think my I asked my wife, how do you pronounce that? And she told me well, that was like four hours ago. And I already forgot. But I think it's uh, uh, Bernard Bay. Uh, so anyway, she said it's her husband's birthday today. And her husband is Paco. And Paco is turning 59 today. And they have two children that are, that are world travelers from what I understand. And it's uh, Zach and Kyle. And they will be here next week in the Philippines. And then they're doing a follow-on visit. The, the two boys are going over to Thailand. So anyway, Paco, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I also have a second shout-out. And it's not really a shout-out, but it's a commentary. And uh, it's a commentary where I want to connect with one of the viewers that we have out in the subscriber base audience that we have here on our channel. And it was a it was a uh, email. It was a private email that was sent to me. But I don't think I don't think that the wonderful woman that sent me this email will mind that I share this with the rest of you. And it has to do with her husband. And she wants to encourage her husband because her, her husband has a dream as well. Let me go ahead and read this out for you. And it goes like this. It says, "Hi, James." My Aussie husband, uh, Greg Hill, is an avid follower. He's a natural born engineer and a fixer upper and circularly would love to do what you're doing but can't or won't. He's in awe at your attention to detail, perseverance, and resilience. Then she goes on to say, how about a shout out for him? It will lift his spirits as he dreams of the Philippines from his PC in Sydney. Our life and family are in Sydney, but we plan to travel to the Philippines as often as possible. We plan to visit sometimes March and August next year. Well, anyway, uh, Greg, get off your PC. Get a goal, put a goal down. If your goal is maybe to do something like this in the Philippines, set a goal, get a plan, figure out a way to do it. That's what I did many, many years ago. I, my first goal was just to buy the property. I knew one day we wanted to build on the property here, uh, but we had to do it step. It's baby steps for me. So what I did was I set a goal to buy the property. So we saved, I took odd jobs. I was working like four different jobs to save up so that we could pay for this property that we got right here. Then once we paid for the property, our next goal, we set up another goal, and our goal was to save up enough money for the house. So I worked, and I took on jobs. So I had the goal for the house, and my plan was I was going to work as hard as I could, uh, take on some uh, challenging jobs, and the challenging jobs meant being away from my wife a lot. But I did that, so I had a goal, I had a plan, and then what I did was I followed the plan. And if you want to do the same, I hope that you could do the same thing for you and for your wife and your family too. So anyway, I encourage you to follow your dreams. And if you want to do something like this, and it doesn't matter what, how small or how big, uh, always follow your dreams. Yeah, the, this bottom, yeah. I don't know if we have any WrestleMania fans out there, but this is <laughs> this is my dog's practicing to audition for WrestleMania. One, two, three, four. 
Well, I don't know if you remember one of our uh, longtime subscribers uh, who lives down in Cebu. Uh, she sent a care package here mm, about a month ago, month and a half. I don't remember exact, the exact date. And it was filled with goodies. It was filled with goodies for the children in the neighborhood. It was filled with goodies in the box for myself and for Hapon and Marianne. And she sent another box. Here's another box right here. I have no idea what's inside of it, but I, I got a warning from my wife. She said something about something for the children. I don't know if it's for Christmas. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna open up the box right now and we're gonna try to figure out what is inside this and what I need to do for distribution and things like that. So let's take a look and see what we got inside here. And oh, oh by the way, uh, that wonderful subscriber, you know her as Winky, who comments quite often on the uh, on the vlog, on our channel, on My PI Dream. So let's, let's see what she said this time. I'm really curious. And she always sends, she always sends the nicest uh, uh, message inside the box. Let's see what's, uh, what might be inside the box today. Oh, this is wonderful. This is, this is for the kids. Oh, great. So it's going to be like I have to get instructions from her. As, and I probably shouldn't show because I, we have a lot of kids uh, in the neighborhood that watch, that watch the, uh, the, the vlog, watch our My P.I. Dream. So anyway, I'm not going to show all the stuff because it's like Santa Claus time inside here right now. Uh, so let me look and see if there's any message inside here so I can follow her instructions. So, duh, <laughs> she did, it was on the side, it was like in a packing list. And I think that's how she did it last time, I think she put it inside the box. It was in the, the, uh, the, pl the plastic covering on the outside. I'm gonna read, the, I'm gonna read to you her uh, little message, how she wants us to handle this here. And she says, uh, James and S, hello. She said, I'm sending these gifts in, in advance for the children of my PI dream. I left the list at home so I can't identify which is which and for whom. Anyway, just decide whom it is for best for. I hope I can bring happiness to all of the children. Their smiles bring a lot of healing to my wounded soul. <laughs> and we're not going to go into that portion right there. But she made a lot, some laughing comments on here. She said, anyway, some of the gifts were left home as well as, let's see. So I'm sending next week, maybe. And she also says on here, these are not expensive gifts, but I'm sure they'll bring happiness to the kids. Uh, for Hapon and Marianne, I'll also include next box. Uh, also yours and S. Oh, you don't have to do it. We're fine. But thank you so much. The kindness. Uh, please just send everything to the kids of the community. That's all. Uh, that, that's just, that's, that brings joy to our hearts. So anyway, she also says, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, anyway, Merry Christmas to all the children of Barangay and Ilao. Love, Ate Winky. So anyway, Salamat. Winky and I will make sure uh, myself and us will make sure that uh, the children that participate in my PI dream uh, get the, the gifts that you sent and will also contribute to not just the children that we normally see on a day-to-day -day basis uh, on my PI dream and what, who you see but also many of the other children in the neighborhood it's going to be a great Christmas here <laughs>
Much better. Well, as it is every single day, we are coming to the close of the of the construction day. So anyway, let's go ahead and try to capture some of the stuff that got done today. We're gonna go up to the second floor. I don't know how far they've gone with the tiling that they, they were working on up there. Remember, they were working inside the hallway, going into the closet. Uh, I don't know if they made it. I don't know which direction they're going after that. They're probably focusing on the closet. So let's go start there and we'll work our way down. back inside there because all the tiles are freshly laid and I can't step on any of them. And so they got a lot, actually a lot accomplished back there for the tiling. And don't forget we got the French door mount. Both of the French doors are mounted. This one over here and this one over here as well. And down here on the first floor, a lot of painting, a lot of finishing got done today. Painting here, painting in the dining room. But we'll see. Also, mounting of the ceiling fan in the lanai off of bedroom number one and tested, tested well. And also in bedroom number two, you can see we got the ceiling fan mounted there and tested as well. So we're good on the ceiling fan. We have one more room in with the bedroom area. We got to get this one, but we got to get an extension to go down. Also, I worked on the patch panel inside here. So this is now connected. Everything on the back of this patch panel right here is connected throughout the house. That's what connects the, the master bedroom, the two inside there for the TV and for by the bed. One out on the lanai by the master bedroom. Mm, let's see, the kitchen, the sunroom, the, let's see, I don't know, all the places around. Oh, and every one of the multimedia areas where there'll be a television, they all have the, uh, the Ethernet Cat 6 connection too, and they all terminate on the back here. So we will patch from here, and we will patch it through. We'll, we'll, there'll be a switch over here. Oh, and I didn't tell you, I spoke with my CCTV installer, and we're probably going to be upgrading instead of one. I'm asking him if he can do two, so that we have a little bit more visibility for 100% coverage outside the house, which means that we have to go from, from an eight port, and he can't get the 16 port, but we might be able to get, he says there is a 24 port, which is overkill for us, uh, but you have to uh, accept what they have for availability. So we'll be able to take all of this and we'll use one switch instead of two. That neck gear switch that I bought that's not PoE, uh, what we'll do is I'll reserve that for another function and I'll put it down in my workshop and I'll play around with it for something. Uh, but the, if we have a 24 port switch, we can run all of these into the 24 port switch. We can run all the CCTV connections inside there, plus the output, the one trunk that comes out of the, uh, the NVR into the switch, and everything is on the same network. So we'll have everything on one switch, and I like that a lot better. So uh, we'll see on Monday whether they can bring in the two cameras and the 24 port switch. So that will be something interesting for Monday's episode. Also, inside the laundry room, a lot more finishing being done on the cabinetry work above the washing machine. And down here inside the basement, we have our first door mounted right here. And this is the door to the generator room. And Kimpy, our master carpenter, is working on the one to the bedroom that we have down inside here. Uh, I, he's got the, I think he's working on the hinges now on the second door. And then of course outside, lots of finishing, lots of painting, lots of precast being done for the, 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 the post, uh, the tops of the post for the fence line. And you can see around the front of the house, they're working also on painting. Uh, they're probably done up, they're actually cleaning up their brushes right now. So lots of painting went on today. Okay, well, it is right at five o'clock, so we are breaking uh, for the day and really breaking for the week, because tomorrow is just gonna be an abbreviated crew. Although we could use, we could use everybody that we have here. We really need everybody. I asked my builder today, I said, we're gonna have a full crew tomorrow or, or just the, 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 the small one, because remember we had four people last week and he said it's gonna be small. 
Uh, but he still assures me that we will have uh, enough rooms waiting and available for when uh, my wife gets here next week. And then the week after my son comes, so we have to have we have to have two rooms that are ready available. And that means I got to go find a couple beds. Uh, shopping trip. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to close for today. Uh, and what a great day it was here. You saw all the different things I got done. I'm really enjoying watching those tiles. I love those tiles that I selected for the second floor. Uh, we went a little bit uh, out of our budget for those, but we're, that's, that's uh, our living space, my, mine and my wife's living space. So uh, that's going to be, we're, we're going to be spending a lot of time in that area right there. So I don't mind putting a little bit more into that part of the construction. I, I just got an opportunity. I'm sitting. I'm talking with my builders, uh, his his wife, and their little daughter out here. So anyway, I am uh, going to close for today. Uh, it, like I said, it, it was a great day today, and uh, I look forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a brief hit. We're going to do some. I just found out we're going to do some tiling up on the second story, and we're going to be doing mostly painting. So that's what's going to be accomplished tomorrow. So that will give me an opportunity to run, and I have to pick out. Uh, I still have to pick out the tiles for the master bath, master bathroom, master CR. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, anyway, I'm going to close for now. I keep saying that. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you found it informative, please share. And if you found it the least bit entertaining and you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until tomorrow, which is going to be Sunday, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.